when you heal it. So when the body is really healing and she's able to feel what she was feeling, there will be grief. There will be anger, Sally, towards people for what was unfair. And that's a good sign. That's actually showing that we're healing the body because we're able to go back and feel what we didn't dare feel then. So we basically worked on healing her nervous system. And then um, I helped her get into a great relationship, which she is in now for a couple of months. She's like, oh my God, I've never met anybody like it. It feels like home. And not only that, but that we're here talking also about leadership and wealth. So beyond, so when we close something, we don't just close it here. Okay, it's about love. We close it everywhere. So she did not dare in her work and she's in, in a successful company. She did not dare go to the next level that she wanted to. She was too afraid to really step up to the next role. And she's incredible. She has a leader inside her that's natural. So as we were working on healing these things, she started tapping, tapping into this bigger role into her confidence and self-worth went up. And she started to aim to where she wanted to go in the company. I was teaching her how to navigate between the masculine and the feminine, also in the men's club, how to handle that with the somatic elements that I teach, how to embody herself in a completely different way where she can be assertive and clear and have intention, become all soft and feminine and move the guys into where she wants to go. She dared ask for a raise. She got nominated as one of the best employees in the company, like for, for last month. Like you can see that she's growing in all directions when that started opening and flowing it's showing up everywhere. So one ask to summarize this, one aspect of this is learning how to process what is there that needs processing. And a lot of times, if it's really deep trauma, we need help with someone because we can't go and feel it again without someone giving us that safety. And the second aspect of it is really working through the elements that you learned in the retreat in Havana of how to embody your elegance, which gives you sense of security and grounding and um, also how to embody the sabrosura, which is all the femininity, you know, with the intention. So she could come in the beginning, she would come and she would be so aggressive when she wanted something. And I'd go like, mm -mm, let me show you how to do it so that you're assertive, but very feminine so they can digest you, you're like set, you know? So there were so many things there. Um, and then she learned how to really kind of move to where she wants to go, which was super powerful.